All right, in example three, I have an exponential equation. And recall that if the bases are the same, then the exponents must be equal in order for the equation to be true. The problem is the bases aren't the same, so I need to get them to be the same. Looking at these, they're both even, so I'm going to try 2. And we know that 2 cubed is 8, so let's start from there, knowing that 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So this gives me 16, 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128. So 2 to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th equals 128. If 2 to the 7th is 128, then 2 to the negative 7th equals 1 over 128. So I've got this written as a power of 2. Let's look at the right. I know that 2 to the 7th is 128. 128 times 2 is 256. 2 to the 7th times 2 to the 1st, I add the exponents. So this is actually 2 to the 8th equals 256. Now I can write these, this equation using the base of 2. On the left, I'm going to have 2 to the negative 7th raised to the 2x power equals, and then on the left, 2 to the 8th times 3x minus 1. So this is going to give me 2 to the negative 7 times 2x is going to be negative 14x equals 2 to the 8th times 3x minus 1. Now I have it in this form where the bases are the same and I have an x and a y. Therefore, negative 14x equals 8 times 3x minus 1, and then I'm just left with a simple linear equation. Negative 14x equals 24x minus 8. I'm going to add 14x to both sides to get 38x. So I added 14 to both sides. At the same time, I'm going to add 8 to both sides to get it over here. I could have done it the other way, then I would have had negative and a negative, and then divided by negative 1, or multiplied by negative 1. Anyways, um, there, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 38, and this is going to give me x equals 8 divided by 38. I can do a little simplification because I have a common factor of 2. I can cancel that out to get 2 nineteenths. So the hardest part for solving this was simply getting them into the same base. And I was able to do that because 2 to the negative 7th is 1 over 128, and 2 to the 8th is 256. Once I did that, it was simply a matter of putting the exponents equal and solving a linear equation.